So it's April 27th, I think. And we just brought him home. We don't even have a name for him yet. We need a name for him so we can call him. Look at this. Every time I bring the camera out, he comes over. I was trying to show how you like your new bed. I've had fun for seven years, but that's even more fun. What is more fun? Having a dog. Aww. <laughs> That's true. What were you saying earlier, Parker, about having this puppy? You said, oh, you said, he's my favorite puppy. I always wanted a puppy, and he's my favorite. And I always wanted a puppy because I wanted it. Yeah, and we got the best one. Yeah. He's great. He's over there sleeping. Yeah. You see him? Such a good boy.
So I am making Princeton homemade dog food. So I have to add some egg and brown rice for that. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put them in these things so I can freeze them and have a lot of dog food. All right, it's done. I made, I tripled the recipe, so hopefully he likes it. We can go ahead and try to give it to him now and see what he thinks. All right, it's done. And he was super excited, he was just barking for it and he like barely ever barks. But I think Princeton's going to like this. It looks really good. Eggs, zucchini, carrots, coconut oil, turmeric, chicken, and brown rice. He literally finished his bowl. He's, he's trying to eat more. That is so cute. He has not eaten that much since he came home. So here is how much three batches made. And he did have some for lunch. So it's a pretty decent amount. Hey guys, so it has been one week of Princeton being with us. So he has been so much fun. We've had so much fun with him and he's been a good, good puppy. He wants to play so bad. He's been sleeping eight hours at night, which is amazing, especially for his age. He is 12 weeks and his first week, you got to see probably in the video, all the things he has done. He's taken so many car rides with us and he's just the most loving, sweet puppy. He's learning not to put his mouth, when they play with their litter mates, they put their mouth on them. So it's very hard to transition, but he has never really been that bad with it. And he's just super loving and super sweet. And even with our cats, he understands when he should just lay down and not bother them and just let them check out him, which is really cool because I feel like that's hard to, to do. You want to go, don't you? The kitty cats are out and he's like, I just want to go play. Why am I sitting here? But I just wanted to show you he's growing. I think he already looks a little different than when we brought him home one week ago. And he goes everywhere with us. And he is just the best puppy. And at least I know we're biased, but at the same time, I have experienced a lot of puppies and he's a sweetie. He's a good boy. He's doing puppy training already to make sure, because in my opinion, no matter what the temperament of your dog, even if you have a really nice dog like him, I think puppy training is still so important and helpful for them to know their place and to be the best they can be as a family member. Can you say bye, Princeton? Are you ready? We're on to your second week. Your second week with our family. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. We did a lot of temperament testing on him when we picked him up to make sure that he would be kind. One of the things is you can hold him up like this and if they squirm like crazy then that's a dominant trait but as you can see he's fine. Also he loves being on his back and getting belly rubs. Can you show them? You probably saw in the video too. He loves belly rubs. Play with their feet. All those are good signs that they are calm, loving dogs and they're gonna be a great member of your family. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna put some pictures in so you can see all the sweet memories we've had, and so that we can look back on, and thanks for watching.